Hey folks, welcome back to Highway Blossoms. I okay, I guess they're really low on batteries. Damn it. So much for my filler light. Anyway, uh, we are walking up some rocks and Marina's having trouble with balance. Crossing over to the ruins themselves will be the riskiest part. There's no cover and anyone who happens to look over will see us. We just have to hope that the tour group has moved on to somewhere with a lot... With... Blah, Morty! Without a line of sight on us. Okay, hurry. I grab Marina's hand and, again and start to run. She struggles to keep up, so I slow down a little bit. It takes maybe two minutes from one end to the other. When you reach the far wall, Marina's breathing is strained. Don't do much running, do you? No, <sighs> Every word is punctuated with a pant. I'm winded too, but fight my lungs not to show it. I have to look strong. For Marina. Ready for the fun part? Is it actually fun? Not yet. We still gotta get up there. I point to the lip of a cave. A good 50 feet or so above us still. Marina's face goes pale as she starts as she stares at the sheer rock wall in front of us. We're not gonna have to climb that, are we? How else? I wait a second for the shock to hit her face before I laugh and shake my head. <laughs> Just kidding. Come over here. A short distance away is a slope, somewhat steep but not too long. It leads up to a part of into a part of the cave close to the ruins. We do have to we actually do have to go up this one. Her face still looks doubtful. I don't know if I can get up that. Sure you can. It's easy. Look, I hike up a couple of steps. Dirt and a bit of gravel tumble past my feet, but it's mostly stable. It's almost all dirt. If it was loose rock, we'd be in trouble. Still looking uncertain, Marina takes a careful step up behind me. Then another... She slides back down a little bit with each step. Now try to spread your weight out a little more evenly. You don't want to lose your balance and fall over. By doing what I say, she's able to reach where I'm standing. Good job. Now just do that like 50 more times. Marina groans, but I've already started. I glance back behind me. She's trailing only a couple steps behind. A couple steps back. For all her worrying, she's doing okay. I'm about to compliment her when I feel the earth shift beneath me and my foot slides loose. With a yelp, I lose my balance, arms flailing as I try not to fall. Then, faster than I can process, Marina's arm shoots out and grabs my sleeve. She tugs me back upright. Are you okay? Oh my god, is your ankle alright? It's not broken, is it? Panic is clearly painted across her face. No, I I'm fine. I'm fine. The only thing injured is my pride. Are you sure? Yeah. Thanks. Good save. We climb up the rest of the way together, but slowly. At the top, both of us stretch and catch our breath. That wasn't so bad, was it? Besides the part where you almost died? Maybe? Pff, I didn't almost die. Besides, that's what I have my sidekick for. She gives me a playful shove. Hey, I told you, I'm not the sidekick here. Uh-huh. You still have to earn the title of captain, or commander, or whatever it is. And you can do that by finding this thing before I do. Not that we're actually up in the ruins themselves. It's now that we're actually up in the ruins to sell themselves. Blah. It's more clear just how tough this is going to be. The cave stretches a long way, like a deep scar in the mountain. Delicate clay buildings, some barely as tall as we are, are arranged throughout. They say this was a vill They say this was a village, but it's hard to imagine anyone living here. Everything is so cramped and small. Where do you think we should start? Hard to say. It won't be anywhere obvious. Remember, people have been studying this place for decades. What if someone already found it? Like, a long time ago. I shrug, but that's probably impossible to see. 
The sun has now gone entirely down, leaving us in shadow darkness. I wonder why Marina doesn't seem bothered by it this time. If they did, then I haven't heard anything about it. We've just got to start looking. Try to be careful, though. I feel bad being here. Maybe this is a bad idea. Be super careful, then. And watch for spiders. I flick on the spare splat the splash light and pass it to her just in time to see the look of disgust at the mention of spiders we split up staying close to each other but not overlapping where we look I get down on my hands and knees shining lights into every corner and cranny that I can Blah, Morty Blah. I worry that our lights might be visible from a distance even though they aren't very powerful the only alternative would be sneaking over in broad daylight. We'd be much more likely to be caught then. I'm not finding anything except dirt. I brush my fingers along the clay bricks in hopes of finding a loose stone or a secret compartment, but there's nothing like that. Nearby, Marina's doing the same thing. She's hitched up her dress so that it doesn't drag on the ground, and I force myself to look away rather than stare. <laughs> she offers quite... A view, though. Show the view. <laughs> After a moment, Marina giggles. Not sure why. I haven't spoken at all. Because I don't want our voices to echo in the cave and give us away. But silently searching gets tedious fast, so I try... So I decide to try whispering. What's so funny? I don't know. Everything, I guess. I was just thinking about how weird this is. It's just, like, it's just so random, you know? All right, Aristotle. Who's that? Never mind. But yeah, it, it's, it's kind of crazy. Deciding that the building I was scouring is a lost cause, I move on to the next one. I know it's probably not a big deal for you. S Whoop, wrong character. I know it's probably not a big deal for you since you do this stuff all the time, but this is honestly the most fun I've ever had. I think. Destroying ancient Native American landmarks. I'm being careful. Super careful, but just, but just in general. Being out here on the road. I thought maybe I was making a mistake when I left, but not anymore. I'm glad. And I am. I really am. I guess it worked out well for the both of us. I can't see her from here, but I know she's smiling. Then she giggles again. Oh, Amber, you're a big old softie after all, aren't you? I'm not. I take it back. I should have left you on the side of the road. This time we both laugh. After that, we lapse and back into near silence. Just the sound of us crawling around or occasionally moving to another building to search. Soon the happy atmosphere starts to dissolve as we start getting frustrated. Or at least I do. It takes maybe 20 minutes before we looked over all the buildings. Ah! There aren't too many, and combing over them isn't that hard. But we don't find anything. Not even a clue or a hint we're in the right spot. Sighing through my nose, I start double-checking some of the larger homes. All the crawling and bending is starting to take a toll on me. When I straighten up, my back is sore and sweat presses my hair to my forehead. We should have brought some bottles of water with us. I lean against a, walk, a rock wall and massage my shoulders. Marina finishes up a building, then joins me. She's biting her lip, frowning a little. Any luck? Nope. Nothing. You? Uh-uh. We both pause, silent. So... That's it, right? Like, we've checked all the buildings? Can't be. We must have missed something. I, I, I'm gonna go try checking out the cave itself. She just stands there. Watches as I head over to the far side. I shine my flashlight up and down and up again, examining every inch of the rock. There's gotta be a crevice where the gold is stashed. Or some other hiding place. There has to be. But none of the cracks are wide enough or deep enough for something like that. A few minutes later and I pass by Marina, still in the same place. 
I check her face as I go. Her eyebrows are furrowed, and she looks worried. I keep hunting. Images of Mariah triumphantly holding up the gold spermion. on. Just the thought of her smug grin pisses me off. When I reach the other end of the cave, I double back and check it again. And again. Finally, Marina pulls away from the wall. I hear it, but I don't see it. Amber, come on. There's no way. Her voice is a knife in my heart. It hurts because I know she's right. I sigh and flick off my flashlight. Standing there, I look at the invisible ground. I have to admit the truth to myself. It's not here. There's no treasure to be found in Mummy Cave ruins. Either we got it wrong or someone beat us to it. Whichever the answer, there's nowhere else in here that it could be. I make my way back to Marina, slowly. I can feel stinging tears of frustration beginning to well up in my eyes. Which surprises me. I'm sure Mariah would be laughing at me if she was here right now. Abruptly, I stop walking towards her and spin around. I don't want Marina to see. There's the sound of crunching dirt. She walks over. Amber? There's worry in her voice. I shake my head. I don't know if she can see. She lays her hand on my shoulder, and two tears manage to leak out of my eyes. I shake my head again. Amber? Amber, it's okay. No. I'm sorry. I screwed up. I was wrong. There's nothing here. I know there isn't. Seriously, that... That's okay. I sob. Not even knowing why. Damn. Damn it. Get a grip, Amber. I wrench my eyes shut before the waterworks really start. It burns, but... I manage to pull it back. Taking deep breaths, I get myself under control. I sink down to lean against the wall of the cave. Marina does the same. Our clothes are dusty from being on the ground so much. Marina pokes me in the side. You okay? I draw a rattly breath. Yeah, I'm fine. Sorry, I don't know what that was just about. I just think... I just got super frustrated. Yeah, I could tell. Can it? I flicker gently on the knee. But uh, that was kind of embarrassing. No, it's okay, really. I, I... Let... 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 I gotta stop doing that shit, because I can work myself up to crying really easily. It's almost like it's something that I've worked up, you know, from acting and shit like that. The ability to do that, and I always forget that I can do that, and it isn't like, oh, I'm super sad that something's happening in the game. It's just like, oh, the character's crying, and I'm pl- and I'm reading the character, and then I just start crying because it's fucking emotion in the moment. <laughs> uh. <laughs> just be reading like a robot, <laughs> but like, I'm super frustrated. I start to cry. <laughs> I start to feel human sadness. I really, I cry all the time at home. Don't worry. It's just, it's like losing. Not finding the treasure, I mean. So, I'm mad for wasting all our time on this. Weren't you? No? Why would I be? She sounds genuinely surprised. Gen- she sounds genuinely surprised. Ugh, how- what's talking? What is talking? Don't even know how. Don't know how to talk. Because- because now we're behind on the next one, too. Or someone beats us to all the rest of them. Now you sound like me. Oh god, is there a cure? Meanie. But really, I have fun. 
So, I don't think it was a waste of time. Even if we're not, like, super rich now, I'm glad we came here. Once again, I don't even have to look to know she's smiling. She's always smiling, after all. It's one of the cuter things about her. There are a lot of those. But I'm afraid to look up and meet her eyes. Afraid because what I've been starting to feel lately... Now I've been thinking of her. It's stupid to get bothered by this now. I know we've been together all day, but right now... But I'm already being over-emotional. I feel like it would be a bad idea. Amber? And then, by reflex, I do it anyway. I look over and I was right. My heart flutters a little. But the smile I was anticipating has been replaced. By yet another look of concern. Yeah. You're right. I guess it wasn't so bad. She brightens up immediately. For real? Mm-hmm. I'm good now. Still, sorry for freaking out there for a sec. It's okay. Don't feel bad. Groaning, I stand up again. I'm definitely going to be sore tomorrow. We should get out of here, though. The longer we spend, the more likely we are to get caught. It's been probably 45 minutes or so since we ditched the tour group. Hopefully they didn't get search and rescue out looking for us. I offer my hand to Marina, who's still sitting on the ground. She takes it, and I haul her to her feet. After dusting herself off, we both walk to the edge of the cave. It's impossible to see anything. Even the trail across the way is invisible from here. Watch your step going down the hill. Yeah, we don't want anyone to almost die again. Going down the hill is easier than going up, though we still have to be careful. We make it to the bottom without incident. We don't risk the flashlights until we're back across the friends and on the... The friends. Now, we're, now that we're not out of bounds, it doesn't matter if people see us. Where do we go now? Hmm. I think about it for a moment. There's not much point in catching up with the tour again. Besides, it's probably ended by now. So if they did notice that we disappeared, then it could be bad for us to just leave the park. Last thing I want is to see our faces on missing person posters the next time we stop at a gas station. But they've got a 45-minute lead on us, and that'll only grow if we, we were to try to find them. <laughs> we'll just go back to the parking lot and get out of here. If anyone asks, we can just say we left early. Thank God I was hoping you would say that. How come? I'm so tired. Same. <laughs> My back's gonna hurt for a year. At least you have the comfy bed. Hey, you could always... Uh, uh, grab some more pillows from the closet, if you need. There are more? Oh yeah, Gramps liked to have a zillion pillows when he slept. Oh. She sounds let down. Oops. Maybe I shouldn't have made that connection there. Don't worry, they weren't like his special, his special pillows or anything like that. You can use them. Alright. Damn. She really starts to worry when I mention them. Mention him. I guess there's a good reason for that. But right now, the thought is a familiar jab of sadness. I'm not about to break down. I'm doing okay for now. We're quiet the rest of the way down the trail, though, without having to stick to the slow pace of a guided tour. It's actually a quick walk. There aren't any other hikers out, which surprises me. It's dark, but not that late. As we reach the parking lot, it seems like we had perfect timing. Or maybe perfectly awful. Spilling out of a trailhead on the other side is the tour group we were briefly a part of. I recognize the tour guide as well as... Oh, oh there you girls are! Linda... She came from my blind spot before we had time to hide. I don't even try to force a smile as I turn to face her. She strolls up to us. Dino's still asleep. Howard's nowhere to be seen, though. Maybe he's in their car. I was hoping to see y'all before you left. 
Yeah, we're pretty tired, so we came back early. Oh, I'll bet you are! She winks at me like she's in on the joke. Problem is, I don't know what the joke's supposed to be. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, don't think I didn't notice you two running off. Figured you were... You know. She laughs and shakes her head. I think that's good, though. Reminds me of you and my Howard when we were younger. We used to sneak off every chance you got. we got, if you know what I mean. <laughs> my face starts to turn red as I realize what she's thinking. Marina's probably tomato-colored, too, though I don't turn to look. Uh, we weren't, uh, uh, um... I mean, I mean, we're not. And I no need to be embarrassed or anything like that. Besides, at least you won't get pregnant. <laughs> she laughs heartily, the baby on her chest bouncing with the motion. <laughs> Sorry, though, I'm getting, to, I'm getting to be a bit too nosy for my own good. Y'all girls be safe out there. It was nice to get to know you. She grabs my hand from the side and pumps it in a vigorous handshake, then does the same to Marina. Neither of us react, still dumbfounded. Then she heads off toward the sea of cars, more of a puddle now, since most have already left. I turn to Marina. I suspected her face is scarlet. Um, wow. Right? That poor baby. And that poor husband. I didn't think people like that were real. Like they only existed in books and movies and stuff. And they say the desert... They say the desert does weird things to your head. Or maybe Wisconsin does. I shrug and start walking back towards the RV. I'm glad that Marina doesn't push the topic of Linda's... misconception. I unlock the door and let Marina in first. We're one of the last ones here. Before I pull the door shut, I take a final look around Canyon de Celli. Or... what little I can see of it. It may have been a bust, but like Marina said, it wasn't a total waste of time. Highway blossoms. <laughs> mm. Look at us! Look at us! Look at these gay ladies! Uh, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just end it on that nice little clean break so thank you so much for watching this game ah this game i'm enjoying it a lot obviously it's a gay visual novel that's kind of my favorite thing so <laughs> thank you so much for watching i hope to catch you next time see ya mm-hmm.